MCP or Model Context Protocol is a protocol to add tooling to your LLM or agent systems. Recently, VirusTotal released an analysis showing that 8% of MCP servers were either vulnerable or malicious. They also published a table listing potential attack vectors. So this is quite interesting because it gives us an overview of how MCP can be exploited by threat actors or attackers. My name is Thomas Rocha, I'm a threat researcher, and today I'm going to show you a MCP scanner that I created for discovery, but also for security. So first, you need to understand that there are three ways to implement the transport protocol to use an MCP server, locally, remotely, or in an hybrid mode. And if we have a look to the transport protocol itself, we can implement using standard input-output transport, which is basically having your MCP server running locally by your uh, client, and it will just execute it on your machine. Then we can also have the streamable HTTP. This is basically when you are using a remote MCP server, when you want to host it somewhere. And streamable HTTP replace a server sent event, SSE, which was the previous transport protocol used in the previous version of MCP. So these kind of concepts are very important to understand here to see how you can build your own MCP uh, server either locally or remotely. I initially built a basic, a basic scanner to identify exposed MCP tools, but that wasn't enough. I wanted to create something a little bit more complex. So this time I built a tool which is not only scanning tools, but also scanning exposed prompts and resources, which is part of the MCP protocols. So this is a complete MCP scanner, and I'm going to show you how it works in a second. What I did is I also integrated my MCP scanner with Nova, which is my prompt pattern detector. And if you are not familiar with Nova, it is a system that matches prompt patterns and identify potential uh, risk or adversarial usage of your LLM system. To give you a little bit more of context about Nova, the prompt pattern matching framework that I created, uh, let me give you an overview. So Nova is basically using the same Yara structure grammar, except in that case, I'm using keywords detection, which is using predefined keywords or sentences, and also regex to match on a specific prompt pattern. This is a strict matching. I'm also leveraging a semantic similarity, which is basically using or detecting or matching a prompt based on the meaning of the prompt itself. So you can define how the semantic meaning can be uh, created. And then the last one is using LLM as a judge. I'm using any kind of model to judge if the prompt that I'm scanning is malicious or not. It can be used for prompt injection, data exfiltration, evasion techniques, but also to identify some specific TTPs uh, using AI system. And the syntax is similar to Yara, as I said, so it's uh, very easy for threat researchers that are already familiar with the structure to build a Nova rule. Nova is completely open source. You can install it by using pip install Nova hunting. I created uh, the MCP scanner, which, which I called uh, Proximity. So I'm currently still working on the development, but here you can see an overview of the documentation. And right now I'm going to show you how you can leverage Proximity and how you can use it against the MCP for discovery, but also security. So Proximity is a command line tool. You can use the dash H for having uh, the help uh, documentation where you can see how you can use the proximity tool. It's basically taking a target as a parameter. And you can see here, you can specify a token if you need an authentication to your MCP server. Uh, you have also a timeout, a verbose mode if you want to have more details. You can leverage uh, Nova for additional uh, scanning. And I'm going to talk more about that. And uh, you have also some examples. So let me show you how it works in practice. Python proximity, and we are going to give him a remote MCP server to see how it works. So you just have to put your target like that, and then 
proximity will start to scan the endpoint. So you can specify the URL with the SSE if you know it, but if you don't know it, you can just specify the domain name and proximity will try to find which endpoint the MCP is running and done. So here, if we have a look, we can see that proximity uh, give us some uh, information. So we have the target name, the scan time, the number of endpoints. So we discovered that there is SSE, but also streamable HTTP endpoint. Uh, there is some tools which are exposed, some prompts and some resources. So quite interesting. If we have a look to the tools, we can see that there is the name of the tool itself, the description here with some details and additional information if they are available and I'm uh, depending of the tool itself I'm adding a simple evaluation uh, here we can see it's a simple uh, implementation of a tool but we have another one which is here uh, which is moderate and in that case it's because this specific tooling uh, tool is exposing additional parameters that can be useful for leveraging this tool and we have the list of the tools with the parameters and the description for each of them. We also have prompt. Here we found only one prompt. So we have the name, we have the description, and we have here a little bit more details about the prompt itself. You are an expert at writing same grep rules and so on. And the last one is resources. We can see here that Proximity found a resource and it's available here. And then you have a quick summary. If we want to leverage uh, uh, Nova, uh, we need to build a Nova rule. So I created a simple one here for testing and how it works. So remember, Nova is using detection rule. So you build your own rule to match a specific prompt. So here we have two. We have detect jailbreaking. And then we can see there is keywords, semantic meaning matching, and also the condition. And then I created one which is the test where I put, remember, um, the sentence, you are an expert at writing some grep rules. This is just for the demonstration and see that this Nova rule will match uh, our prompt from the MCP server. So here's a basic example, but as you can imagine, you can create the rule that you want for the pattern that you want to identify. Let's run proximity with Nova and our rule. So I'm specifying the dash R for rule and then we are running the scan. So again, proximity is trying to discover if there is additional endpoints and running the scan and done. So we still have the report from previously explained, except in that case, we also have the Nova analysis. So we can see that uh, the, Nova, uh, the Nova evaluation was run against two Nova rules, detect jailbreaking and test. Uh, the evaluator is when you are using LLM as a judge, by default is OpenAI, but right now we didn't use it. We can see that Proximity evaluate uh, nine items, which are the tools, the prompts, and the resource as well. And what we are testing is, for example, the name, but also the description and the prompt. So that way you can identify if there is like a malicious, malicious attempt running this uh, specific MCP, it could be prompt injection, uh, jailbreaking, or either uh, trying to run some specific actions, for example, that are not authorized. And we can see here that our rule test was working and it matched on the prompt from uh, the MCP server. And we have a nice summary where we have uh, six tools, one prompt and uh, one resource. And then we can see that one of nine item was flagged, which is the prompt. And we have one rule that have been matched. You can also leverage proximity for a local uh, MCP server. So I've got one in my repository, uh, which is one for the demonstration as well. There is only a couple tools exposed. So if you run proximity like that, then it will scan the file itself and it will give you some information. So here I'm only exposing two tools from this MCP server and we get the uh, description, the name, and the pretty much the same result as before. So you can also run it for a local MCP server as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy uh, Proximity. I'm going to release it at Black Hat USA uh, this summer. So stay tuned. And I will also publish everything on my social network. Thank you very much.